Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Viral Rodi and you are watching Viral Science. In this video, I will show you how to make a home automation system that can be controlled with Google Assistant. Yes, so I will show you how it works. Okay Google, LED is on. Turning on LED. Okay Google, LED off. Turning LED off. Okay Google, fan on. Turning fan on. Okay Google, turn off fan. Turning fan off. Okay Google, light on. Turning light on. Okay Google, turn light off. Turning light off. So this is how it works. So let's get started. So friends, this is the circuit diagram for our today's project. I have converted it into PCB. If you are using relay modules, the circuit diagram will be this simple. This is the same circuit diagram which we have used in our previous home automation video. You can also check it out. So this is the previous home automation video. The circuit diagram for these two videos are the same. So for PCBs, I am visiting the website jlcpcb.com. This website offers 10 pieces of PCB for just $2. So upload your Gerber file here and order your PCB. Link to download the PCB file is in the description down below so you can check it out. So here I have received my PCBs, so let's quickly unbox it. So now we have got all the components and PCB ready for the project. So let's quickly solder all the components on our PCB.
I'm using this power bank to supply 5 volts to our PC. Link to download this code is in the description of this video so you can check it out. Now download all these libraries. I'm using digital pin 1, 2, 3 and 4 to trigger our relay. So this is the code. Now quickly jump to the website adafruitio.com. Now click on get started. Now fill up your details and enter your Gmail ID. And click on create account. Now close this and again open the Adafruit IO website. Now click on this action button and create your new dashboard. Enter the name of your dashboard and also description of it. Now open your dashboard and click on this plus symbol that is add symbol. We will add buttons to it. We are using this toggle buttons. Enter the name of your button that is Relay 1, Relay 2, Relay 3 and Relay 4. And also make sure that the name of this button should be same as written in the Arduino code. Now select any one button and change on and off switches to zeros and one. One is to on the switch and zero is to off the switch. These are the binary numbers. And do this for every button. Now click on this settings button and now we will rearrange the buttons on our dashboard. Now open the Arduino code and enter your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password. So now here we will add our name and key. So to get it, open the Adafruit IO, select on this key symbol and copy and paste username and active key. So now we have completed all the settings of Adafruit IO. So now compile the code and upload it to your Node MCU board.
So now open this IFTTT website and sign in to this website with your same Gmail ID. Now go to my applets and create a new applet. Click on if this button. Now search for Google Assistant. Open it and click on connect. Here sign in with the same Gmail ID. Click on allow and select this first option so now here we will write the commands which we will say to google assistant to trigger our relay now click on create trigger make sure everything you have written is correct now click on that button. Now search for Adafruit. Click on connect. Authorize this. Now here we will choose this and we will choose Relay 1 as Relay 1 is for LED. Select 1 as we will on this relay. So in this way we have created our first applet to switch on the LED. Now we will create another to switch off the LED. Again make sure you select Relay 1 and select 0 as zero is to off the LED. So in this way we have got the two applets to switch on and switch off the LEDs. Similarly we will make such applets for all the relays, two for each relay. Make sure you select Relay 2 for this and select 1 to switch on. Now we'll select Relay 2 and select 0 to switch off the relay. So now we have created 4 applets for 2 relays to switch on and switch off. Similarly, you will do this for 4 relays. Till then, I will tell you how this works. This works on conditional statements. If this and then that. In if this command we have said Google Assistant, so if we will say any command to Google Assistant, then the following, then that command will be activated in Adafruit IO. And this will send signals to our Node MCU board through internet. So now finally we have created 8 applets, 2 for each relay to switch on and switch off. So to check it's working or not, go to Adafruit IO and power your 
PCB. So now you can click on 1 and 0 to on and off the relays and you can identify that the corresponding LED is switching on and off. So before connecting any high voltage appliances to our board, you can also check it with Google Assistant. Ok Google, turn LED on. Turning on LED. So now I have connected lights and fans with our board. So let's see how it works. Ok Google, LED on. Turning on LED. Okay, Google, turn off LED. Turning LED off. Okay, Google, turn on light. Turning light on. Okay, Google, turn off light. Turning light off. Okay, Google, fan on. Turning fan on. Okay, Google, turn fan off. Turning fan off. So friends, I hope you like this video then hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And also don't forget to share this video with your friends. That's it for today guys. See you in my next video. Do subscribe my channel Viral Science and click on bell button so you don't miss any videos.